Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and this is Ask Pocket. Let's jump into the good stuff. And the first of the good stuff comes from Connor, who wants to know, what's the PAX situation like this year? Well, Connor, I can confirm that PAX is happening. I believe there will be games there. Tickets? will probably be available. As for Good Game, we too are planning to be there, which leads nicely into my next question from Tash Monstar. Are there any conventions that Good Game or Pocket will be at in the near future? Yes, see my previous answer. But if that's not enough for you, Good Game is doing our very own live shows right here in Sydney on Saturday, September 5th. Now, there's a Spawn Point show for the whole family kicking off at 2 p.m. Bajo, Hex, Goose, and Darren will be playing games, answering questions, and challenging the audience. But then at 8 p.m., the adults only version will commence. And that's just me dancing for 90 minutes in various cosplay outfits. Or it's like a big team event with awesome game stuff and Andrew Hansen and Jimmy Giggle and Tripod. It will be one of those two things. But it's only in Sydney, so you have to come to Sydney. Jump onto the Enmore Theatre website to buy your tickets to either of those shows, or both! Doriosaurus tweeted me next and wants to know... Who is your favourite Batman? Doriosaurus. The list goes... Kevin Conroy, Christian Bale, Michael Keaton, that shot of Ben Affleck running into the dust cloud, Val Kilmer, Will Arnett, Barjo, Adam West, David Mazows, George Clooney, and then Nick Boy. Our penultimate question comes from Frankie Wuff. Hi, good game. I had no idea how to direct my response to Nick Boy. Am I spelling that right? Yes, you are Frankie Wuff. It is me who spells Nick incorrectly. I want to ask about the LGBTI and queer community of gaming. Gaming is no stranger to homophobia and the like. I'd like your thoughts on how we are combating and making people of a not-so-straight nature feel welcome in online games without being flamed. We're not doing enough, is the answer. Right now, trolls in-game can't even restrain themselves from being trolls to other trolls, let alone the rest of us. But I have a two-part plan. Part one. Games are at their best when they're both fun to play and tell us something about our world and ourselves. I'm never going to be a soldier fighting the Hellgast, and I'm never going to meet someone who is. So when I play Killzone, all I get is surface level reflections of the horrors of a fake war. But I've got family members who are gay. I've got friends who are coping with loss. So when a game like Gone Home comes along, it helps me get a glimmer of understanding into their world. Games are opening themselves to new ideas and characters, and that's huge, and it's happening heaps in the indie scene. It just needs to cross over into the mainstream multiplayer games. The first step to getting people to be semi-decent human beings online is for them to understand the person who they're abusing, because they'll find out that person is actually not that different to them, except they're not telling people to f their own mothers. <laughs> To me, a lot of the responsibility has to land at the feet of the companies running these games who have multiplayer communities. It would be nice to think that humanity can take the higher road and overcome our prejudices, but history says we can't. Online, we're stupid, fear-filled animals with no conscience. Take my multiplayer game of choice, Dota, which is pretty representative of reporting bad behavior in the gaming scene. Now, when I report someone for being an asshole in game, they don't know it happened. They're not being held to account. Eventually, if it happens enough, they get sent to a low priority queue, which is filled with other people who are also abusive. Because for some reason, Valve thinks that when surrounded by people like themselves, these poor misguided souls will have an awakening where they realize it's them the whole time. They're the problem. But that's not how it works. You put five assholes together and what do you get? A human centipede of assholes whose only way of coping with the shit they're getting shoved down their throat is to in turn, shit it down someone else's. It's not all bad, though. League of Legends is taking steps to make their communities friendlier, and it's working. Their reintroduced peer-to-peer -peer tribunal system is proving effective. 
As we reported earlier this month, Riot are claiming that instances of homophobia, sexism and racism in the game have fallen to a combined 2% of all games. Also, 91.6% of culprits never commit another offence after just one reported penalty. More companies need to take this kind of control. You built this environment, guys. Take some responsibility and try harder to not make it an abusive nightmare hole. Our final question comes from Scratchy, who says... What's for lunch? Not sure, Scratchy. Whatever leftovers Barjo throw out. And that's it for today's episode of Ask Pocket. If you want your question on here next time, go here and fill out the contact form. Or just tweet me. I crave your attention. Until next time, Nick Boyer. Kevin Conroy, Christian Bale. Your thumb was not performing as well as you are. Really? I have a very thin wrist, and I don't like my fingers. So thanks for drawing attention to that.